Hi everyone, before I start this video, make sure that you are a part of my discord server by joining the link in the description box below and in this video, we will be going over A-level accounting 2024, May June, paper 2 1, question number 2. This is paper 2 which consists of 4 questions, 2 of them will be of 30 marks and 2 of them will be of 15 marks and the total time limit for this paper is 1 hour and 45 minutes. Since question number 2 is of 15 marks, ideally you should be spending about 17 and a half minutes in order to solve this question and in this video as well, we will be attempting to solve it within 17 and a half minutes. So without any further delay, let's get started. Sana maintains full accounting records. She has prepared a trial balance but the totals do not agree. For the first part, we need to see two benefits of preparing a trial balance. The very first benefit is that it provides a check on the arithmetical accuracy of the double entry records. Let's write it down. It provides a check on the arithmetical accuracy of the double entry records. The second benefit is that it also provides details that will be used in the preparation of financial statements. So it provides details to be used in the preparation of financial statements. Alright, that is all for the first part. Let's move towards the next one. We have been given additional information. Sana discovered some errors which did not affect the agreement of the trial balance totals. So we have the error of omission, commission, complete reversal and compensating errors. And these will definitely do not affect the agreement of the trial balance totals. But we do need to rectify these errors. Alright, let's take a look at our question first. We need to prepare journal entries to correct the errors and the narratives are not required. Okay, let's take a look at our first error. A dishonored check for 80 received from Arjun stores. A dishonored check just means that we received the check from the customer, but when we went to the bank, we did not get the money due to some errors or due to lack of funds within the customer's account. So we can just correct this entry by first recording the journal entry for a check received from Arjun stores. Whenever we receive a check, it means that the bank balance will increase. So asset increases will always go on the debit side. It means that bank will be on the debit side. And Aryan Stores is the giver of the check in this case, and the giver will always go on the credit side. So we have Aryan Stores on the credit side. But now since this is a dishonor check, we need to reverse this entry. So the journal entry in order to correct this error will be Aryan Stores on the debit side, bank on the credit side with the amount of 80, so that it gets cancelled out with this correct entry. Let's write it down. So we have Aryan Stores with the amount 80 and bank with the amount 80. That is all for the first error. For the second one, we have error of commission. An entry was made in the account of K Limited for goods returned to JK Limited worth 110. Okay, for this second one, the correct entry should have been in the accounts of K Limited. And this is the goods returned, which means that this is the purchases returns, right? Purchases returns will be an in so it will be recorded on the credit side. And the correct uh, supplier in this case was JK Limited. So the correct entry would be JK Limited to purchases returns. And the amount would be 110 each. But incorrectly, we entered this as K Limited. 110 to purchases returns 110 now in this case the purchases returns part is correct in our incorrect entry as well the only thing we need to rectify is the name we need to replace k limited by jk limited so in the correct side we will replace jk limited so jk limited will go on the debit side so that we now reflect the correct entry and now we need to cancel the k limited so in order to cancel it we can always enter it on the opposite side so now we enter k limited on the credit side with the same amount of 110 so that it gets cancelled out so our correct entry is just going to be jk limited with the amount of 110 and k limited 
with the amount of 110 okay now for the third one we have complete reverse so goods taken for own use with the cost of 260 okay so for this one the correct entry since we're talking about goods taken for own use it will be drawings to purchases right and the correct amount should have been 260 each but since we completely reversed the entry incorrectly we recorded purchases on the debit side and drawings on the credit side but with the correct amount now in order to reverse it we cannot just enter the same amount again because if we enter now drawings on the debit side with 260 these two will get cancelled out so we need to enter another 260 as well so that first one will get cancelled out with the incorrect entry and the second one will reflect the correct amount similarly for the purchases as well we cannot just enter the amount of 260 because it will first get cancelled out with the previous incorrect entry we now need to record the same amount twice so that the second amount will reflect the correct value of the purchases let's write it down so the correct entry in this case will be drawings to purchases but we need to record the amounts twice so it will be 260 times 2 which will be 520 each that is all for the third error now for the fourth one we have compensating errors the total of the discounts allowed column in the cash book 320 was not posted to the ledger and the total of one of the returns journals was also not posted to the general ledger okay so if we did not post the total of the discounts allowed column it means that our debit side is understated so now we need to record the discounts allowed on the debit side right and since this is compensating errors it means that debit understated is being compensated by credit understated as well and we're talking about returns journals so it can either be sales returns or purchases returns so now we have to use our brain to figure out which of these returns will be recorded on the credit side we know that purchases returns will be recorded on the credit side so the correct entry is just going to be discounts allowed and the purchases returns with the correct amount of 320 each because these two were not posted which is why they were compensating on the debit as well as the credit side basically these errors allow the debit and credit total to be the same because we forgot to enter the same amount on the both sides let's write it down we have the discounts allowed and purchases returns so that will be the amount of 320 each that is all for the second part let's move towards the third one we now need to state what is meant by an error of principle and we also need to support our answer with one example so error of principle is when a transaction is posted with the correct amount and to the correct side of an account but in the wrong class of account let's write it down error of principle is when a transaction is posted with the correct amount and to the correct side of an account but in the wrong class of account So the example is basically recording motor expenses as motor vehicles because motor expenses is an expense which will be recorded on the debit side within our trial balance but motor vehicle is an asset which is different class expenses and assets are two different class but they both have the same side which is the debit side so we recorded the amount on the correct side and the correct amount was also recorded so that is all for the error of principle let's move towards the next one we now need to explain with reference to an accounting concept why sana needs to make an entry for goods taken for own use so in this case since she is now taking the goods for her own use we cannot record it as the purchases made for the business and we are complying with the business entity concept let's write it down 
Business entity concept basically refers to the fact that the owner and the business are two separate entities and only the information related to the business can be recorded within the books of accounts. Let's write it down. The business and the owner are separate entities. and information can only be entered into the accounts if it has a direct impact on the business. All right, that is all for the fourth part as well as this entire question. If you found this video useful, make sure that you like the video and leave a comment below. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you do not miss any of these videos in the future. Thank you.